Jack does crazy things with wild animals to help protect and study them. Really crazy and maybe dangerous. But Jack is a trained expert. Do not do what Jack does. Seriously. Approaching and handling wild animals can be dangerous. Really, just don't do it. I'm researching the descendants of dinosaurs ah, got it. in the waters of Australia. These things want to eat you. This is absolutely massive. I just see a little croc. I'm going to try and creep up. See if I can get it. He's popped out on the other side. It's a really small guy. Got him! Look at that! Wow, a little baby saltwater crocodile. Look at that mouth agape. Crocodiles are amazing creatures. They're related to birds, but can stay underwater for up to an hour. And despite having big teeth, they don't chew their food. Even at this size, if it bit me, that would really hurt. Those teeth are still very, very sharp, still got a very strong jaw pressure. This guy is gonna eat a lot of different animals on the way to becoming an adult, starting with little crustaceans and insects, working his way up the food chain, eating fish, ending up eating possibly even big buffalo. Wow, what an absolute beauty. That little guy is cute. But I want to see how big they really get. Here we go. So I'm visiting a place where Australians like to go for fun. Saltwater crocs can grow up to be 20 feet long and weigh a whopping ton. And it's easy to see why they've been around since the age of the dinosaur. Not only do they look prehistoric, but they are perfect killing machines, able to lunge out of the water and clamp down on their prey. With a bite force of 3,700 pounds per square inch, which is the mightiest of all living animals and rivals that of the extinct T-Rex. Wow, that is crazy. 900 kilos, almost one ton of dinosaur right there. So close. I can't believe how unbelievably big they are. Absolute brute, massive dinosaurs. I can't wait to see those guys out in the wild. Oh! Wow! Join me again for more fearless adventures.